Okay, so welcome guys. Welcome to today's edition of Programming with Us TV. Now this is yet another course. In this course we are going to cover Firebase, okay? Firebase real-time database is quite popular and of course we have to do a course about it. So we're going to have this this course in this course we're going to be creating a full application which of course is going to perform for us CRUD operations, okay? Now in this lesson I'll take you guys through the various parts or components of this particular app that we're going to create and some of the things that we'll learn in the process. If I come click exit, let's start. So if I click, you can see this is a splash screen, okay? So we were going to design and show splash screen in our app. Then the splash screen will lead us to the dashboard. The dashboard, this is just a centralized activity or location from where the user can navigate our app. Okay, so of course we have add, view, another item, exit. If you click exit, then obviously you're exiting the app. If we come and click view all, then of course very, very fast, it loads us our data from Firebase, okay? This data get loaded from Firebase. So not only that, but you're also able to search. So I can come right here. The search is very, very fast because it's what we're calling an in-memory search, okay? Or a client-side search. So we can search our data even when offline. So I can easily search. For example, now while searching, you can see that you are highlighting, of course, the search term, okay? Now, in this case, I'm taking into account two columns while searching the name as well as the galaxy. So that means that, for example, I can also come and search based on the galaxy as well as the name i'll show you guys in the course how you can add more columns okay so these are disconnected search we're able to search even without internet connectivity so if i come and click a single item as you'd expect we're able to open the detail activity okay so these are beautiful detail activity with the collapsing toolbar we're able to edit just by clicking this one it opens to us for us the editing page so the this editing page the user can edit for example suppose i want to change the star system i can just come right here if i want to change the timeline i can come change these ones okay the date so i can change these ones and then just come and click okay and very very fast it's going to update you can see the progress bar it updates and then opens for us the listing page okay if we come to the item then obviously as you can see right here it's been updated okay so this right here is you can see it has all the components that you need to create a full application now that was an update what about if you want to add you can come right here add new item then of course i can just come type my random dummy data here then type the description just some random text then of course my residency and then the star system so we come we have those ones then choose the star system then the date of birth using our will pick a dialog i just choose some random date right here okay then of course if we come and click add you can see very very fast it's going to add it con then it tells us successful and in fact we can see it so once we've added an item we're going to scroll over to the last added item okay so right here you can see it this is it guys this is what we're going to cover now what about deleting well you just come and click delete okay so we are able to delete it and you can see we no longer have it in our system so this is it okay you can also arrive at the edit editing page right here now you may have noticed this same same crud page you are using it for three things for adding for editing and for deleting so this is going to save us from having to write lots of boilerplate code okay we're going to intelligently reuse it uh, okay so that is it now the last thing i wanted to show you guys is that this app has some offline capability okay so given that we're using 
Firebase, we're going to you can take advantage of some offering capability right here. Now, if for example I come and switch off my Wi-Fi, I don't have a Wi-Fi connection, so if I switch it off, then exit the app. Then if we now come back to the app, okay. Now we are still able to browse our data as if we are connected. You can see right here, okay. Now we are still able to browse our data. We are still able to search the data. We can search. The only things that we can do is that we cannot edit. Okay, we cannot edit because we are disconnected. However, for browsing, viewing our data, we are able to do all those right here. So the app is has that inherent offline capability. Okay, so this is it right here. This is what we are going to build. This is very important because you can use it to create a full project. Now, if you guys want more features, of course, you can drop as an email or you can contact us via YouTube or our website, camposha.info. We'll be adding more features. That's why I'd like to recommend to you guys, especially to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as our website. Now, in our website, if you even want more functionalities, then go become a premium member, okay? So, the course is free, but premium members, of course, will also have some more features, okay? You're going to have some more advantages than the free members right there. So, you can go check them out. You can become a premium member, and then you can get access to all the downloads for all our courses, as well as support, as well as more features being added and updates, okay, to the apps that we are creating so go check them out it's very very cheap okay so you can go become a premium member it's also a way of supporting us if you really want to support us that's a very good way of supporting us so this is it guys this is what we're going to create let's start the cause